Well, just another wee update on the old EV. Um, the process of making rear bumper supports, as you can probably see, I've removed the bumpers and they're hanging down. That's because when they're up in place, um, sort of like that, there wasn't any sort of mounting around this area where my hand is. Um, just basically because all this back panel's been rebuilt and everything and I wasn't able to carry on the same mounting method. So uh, yeah, these amounts here, there's ones around the side. If I put a light on, I'll actually show you how simple it is. There's literally these stands offs, these standoffs, sorry, which are a uh, one inch box section with a rivet nut on the inside and then long bolts, which means these bumpers are mounted solid but uh, yeah, they're not right up against the bodywork there as they should be, which is nice. Um, but yeah, because of the way everything's done at the back here, I've had to make a piece which, say, will hold this up like this. So what's happening is I've got a bracket which will screw into here and then screw into this bumper. So yeah, there will be a visible screw, but it's going to be a small one, so it's okay. Um, so yeah, that'll basically sit just like that. Um, I'll show you the brackets actually. That's them here. As you can probably tell, uh, they've been painted. And it's literally just a riv nut. Um, there we are. So this bolt here will be going through the bumper and into this bracket. And that hole there is where another bolt will go through into the van, into the riv nuts that I just showed. So yeah, it's just a really simple uh, right angle bracket, which will just keep the bumpers solidly mounted. Um, and the other thing I've been doing is rebuilding the front wheel hubs. Now this is just because the old brake disc were in pretty bad condition, as you can see here. And also the calipers, once I got them off, I found out weren't much better. As you can see, I've had to separate this one due to the fact there was a bolt that had snapped. Um, I managed to get it out, but it had taken a few hours to do. It was the bolt that held the caliper onto the carrier, which is on the van itself. Um, so yeah, we've got new discs, believe it or not. These ones, um, they're a bit manky. They've done less than 500 miles, I would say. They came off a recovery truck that um, friend and I broke up for parts and I got loads of bits off it for my uh, minibus um, but yeah they're more or less brand new discs and also put new bearings in as well so that's good same on the other side the wheel bearings weren't too bad the original ones but I had new ones in the these hubs so I just rebuilt it all and um, yeah Perfect, so um, that's good. That one, as you can see, that disc is absolutely shot. I don't even think the pad's been gripping it properly either, as you can probably tell by the small contact mark. Um, the other caliper, which is here, this one's okay. I think the other one's all right as well. They could be rebuilt, so I'll probably just rebuild them and keep them as spares. Um, but yeah, the recovery truck that I mentioned that I got parts off. I'll find a photo of it and put it in the video. Uh, that has brand new calipers which as you can see here have now been painted and they're hanging up to dry. I've done them um, it's a Skoda green and had loads of it. It's quite a nice colour actually. There, you can sort of see it a bit better there. Sort of a lighter version of British Racing Green. Uh, but yeah these calipers are more or less new. Um, they've only done probably a few hundred miles on the recovery truck before it was taken off the road. Um, so yeah, waiting for those to dry and they'll get fitted, bled and then the front wheels will go back on. Um, I've mentioned in the other video that I did that these wheels will be getting powder coated. They're going for like a gunmetal grey which will look quite nice I think. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much as far as I've got at the moment. 
uh, rear brakes in the process have been done as well as you can see here uh, I've got all the new um, shoes and everything which I think are in the back yes there they are so I've got brand new brake shoes just there uh, handbrake cable as well there's the other shoes full spring set and all that so uh, yeah pretty good turns out these are actually the same uh, rear brakes or at least springs are the same as an Iveco daily so there's an interesting uh, interesting fact for you uh, the reason I know that is because it's said somewhere but I think it's maybe on the other packaging um, yeah it doesn't seem to be on there but yeah that's a good handy fact to know but uh, yeah there we go there will be some more progress videos going up when I make more progress <laughs>